I've recorded this entire week. Well, listen, we finna do shit a little impromptu this week. So, I hope you're fucking ready for the tea because this was such a chaotic ass week that I could not even get this shit on camera. So, do what you want, but let's just, let's just go ahead and get into it after my power nap and after my play. There is just something about you that I need to know. Look across the room right at you. Come get to know me better. On their Chromebooks, I guess it's like a software or something. Epic or bookshelf on your Chromebook. So if you were completely done and I checked your work, yeah, Chromebook. Okay. No, we do different. It's not the end of the day. Kyle's not letting us say yes. We're talking about. I love my second job. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Like, I literally come home every single day smiling, and I'm smiling from the time that I wake up, even though I'll be tired because I'm not a morning bird just yet, until the time I get off. Just tell y'all how good God is, right? So I went to my third assignment yesterday, right, for the very first time. And it's so crazy how God works out because I was literally going to call out because I've been so tired. I had a seven page, seven and a half page paper due. Um, on the 1st of December that I procrastinated to do when I had a month to do it, mind you. So I stayed up for 12 hours doing a goddamn paper. Um, yeah, girl, it was a mess. But I, I didn't go to, I didn't call out. I, I recovered somehow and I just got up and went, right? So apparently I went and there were 10 people out, like 10 staff members that were out. I was the only coverage that showed up, right? I told y'all I was thinking about calling out. So if I didn't show up for as coverage, there wouldn't have been no coverage or there would have been just not as when they just not when they needed it y'all so i go to my first classroom it's preschool i'm obsessed like these kids nowadays kids in general like they are so cute with their little breakfast and their little jackets and their little tims i obsessed like they they just love me a long story short the classroom that i was in the preschool classroom um the aide that i was covering uh she ended up um coming in because basically, I know I'm talking, I'm talking in circles. Cause I, I just, <laughs> basically she was supposed to, you know, be out next month, not this month. So the, the school had got it wrong. So I, I wasn't needed. And even though I wasn't needed, the teacher was just like, you know what? I really, really love you. Like, can you please, please, please come back? Like, I would love to have you again. Mind you, I wasn't even in her classroom for like, for like an hour. I was literally there for probably 15, 20 minutes. So I'm like, oh girl, okay. Like. Give her my number, name, all that. Cool. So I go to the main office to of my assignment and they send me to another classroom. Send me into another classroom with an actual substitute teacher and then I'm the substitute aide. So, you know, we, we the dynamic duo. Tell y'all, those kids loved me. Like, we, there, were literally, there was literally like an activity that they, that they had to do where they had to basically write a draw a story. And I, you know, had to help them write their letters and stuff and like, 
me writing it for them, watching them mirror it for me and read it back was just utterly amazing. And they know sign language. They know ASL, like, oh my God, freaking adorable. So by the end of the day, right, the guy that I spoke to when I first got there in the morning, he's like, you know what? I need you here. I need you here. We need you here full time. Like, can you stay here full time? I'm like, I sure can. So now I got a full time position at a school. No more traveling. God is just so good. And like, I'm gonna be smiling like this for the next month, I swear. Ah! <laughs> the fuck? Mama, come here, I'm about to beat your ass, mom. Overall, I would give my meal like a 6 out of 10. There wasn't that much sauce on the honey barbecue. Um, boneless wings, which y'all can see. Had an impossible burger. Just watch the vlog. Excuse the fact that I have the Parkers playing on in the background. I'm finna go bowling. I'm finna take a few shots before I leave. Of some barefoot blueberry wine. My friend finna pull up. We finna smoke. And we finna go bowling. High as fuck. Come with me. I will not sit here and lie to you. I was too tore up to record anything else after that. The drink that I had at first, it was nasty. Don't get it. Um, the sex on the beach was great. Dinner was so good. I have been craving Applebee's for a long ass time. Happy birthday to my friend. Don't play with that girl. She's not one of them. That's gang for real. And yeah, my night was fucking amazing. Finna go smoke a wood. You better, you better sing for the My toxic trait is that I will burn any bridge. I will burn the bridge with you still standing on it. I'm so content with myself and just love myself so much that I will never accept nobody in my life being disrespectful to me. And that goes for anybody. We're not just talking about relationship-wise. We're talking about friends, family. I didn't disown half of my family. Understand this. I don't mind burning no bridge with nobody. I had therapy this week and I know y'all love my therapy tips so, um, my therapist called bullshit on me saying nobody calls or checks on me or thinks about me or care about me right and the reason that she called bullshit she said because that's not true she said let's let's be real like she was like um, she used the term if it ain't directed it ain't respected and she said so be direct she was like who is it that you want to call and check on you and show you that they care about you that don't so you feel like nobody cares about you because you've put that person on such a pedestal school and they are failing to meet your expectations she was like it's not that nobody calls and checks or cares about you it's that the person you really want to doesn't do it and now you just shit on everybody else in your life that's making the attempt so that's my tip for y'all and y'all can process that the way i had to process that but yeah she said stop saying nobody does stuff for you and that's not true she was like put a name on that shit say like my grandma and them, my daddy and them, my mom and them, or my ex or whatever they don't do what i'm expecting them to do or what i would do for them Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday. I know my room looks so mess in the background, but ignore that. Um, today's Monday. I was supposed to be at work today, but I've been feeling a little under the weather. Um, my body has finally caught up on sleep, thank God, but my throat is like scratchy. And we all know what happens when your throat is scratchy, what it leads to. Uh, itchy cough, runny nose. My nose has been running nonstop. I, I don't know if y'all can tell by my tone. I sound a little congested, which is pissing me off. And guess whose birthday is next Saturday? Not today. Don't fucking play. And then my period hasn't, hasn't come yet. What's going on? What's, what's tea? 
Come now. Don't, don't, I'm not trying to be on by my birthday. Come now. Come now. Come now. Like, don't, don't, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Like, come on. Don't be a hating ass bitch. But I do have to go to Walmart because I'm finally going to get my planner so I can shut the fuck up. I have so many projects and assignments at work that I need to, you know, put on a calendar. I want a big desk calendar as well. Um, I need to get some mouthwash. Um, I don't need any type of markers, pens, or nothing like that. Probably pens and whiteout. Um, but I have everything else. I got all the markers, colored pencils, and all that shit. Um, so yeah, girl. I'm going on a Walmart trip. I'm taking Dior with me. Um, I got the Parkers playing in the background. Because, um, I haven't taken my baby outside. Like, we haven't been outside collectively together in a minute. Um, and I want us to bond, so we're going to go together. My girl's going to come too, so. Yeah, y'all, happy motherfucking Monday. And it's like 9 in the clock. It's like 9 something, almost 10, or it should be 10 now. I'm up bright and early starting my day. We're not going to sit around. And it was blessing leaf, blower, leaf blowers this morning, so it was like, bitch, you might as well get the fuck up. So, um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Dance everywhere. Even in the kills So why do you think I don't know when you're lying Know when you're trying To hide how you feel from me You hate it when it's dead Hey y'all, we're at Walmart Let me show y'all the old hold on I made her put on her only jacket today And she started to stress out so She had to get a jacket on and it's kind of small, but it'll work for right now. Say hi, baby. Dior. Say hi. Say hi. She looks so tiny. I mean, she kind of is. That's my baby. Okay. Let's go get what we came to get. Hi, baby. All them teeth missing. Look at mommy's baby. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> she's sick of me y'all and she's on punishment yeah see i don't know what's going on like skin look crazy so basically i got my planner and my calendar yours having anxiety because um they are moving shit around i'm about to show you all these books that i want to get but um, I was just looking at mounts and stuff because your girl finna get her TV. I figured out what I'm finna get. I got my mounting supplies. I'm gonna buy my mount next week with my TV and shit. Early birthday present to moi. I'm excited. Um, let me show you all these books that y'all need to grab though. You need to grab this. It's called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Grab that. Y'all know. Four agreements. If you're not reading the four agreements, what the fuck are you doing? It's it's about time. You need to start reading that. I been needed to grab this and they're lucky I'm grab it now. How to win friends and influence people. I need to get this. But I'ma wait because I don't I don't need any books right now. I haven't even read the ones that I already have. Um But yeah, oh and for shadow work and stuff, if you're trying to heal, I recommend. I recommend. 10 out of 10, get it. But I'll see y'all when I get to my next, you know. This one, I don't come to Walmart. It's packed in here, look. Like, well, y'all probably can't really see for but It's like packed in here. I'm in the aisle though. Um, I'm always spending money. It, it never fails, but um, whatever. I got everything that I needed, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, can't wait for that. I'm gonna get home and show everything. They don't have, they don't have any, um, what you call it? They don't have any like snacks or anything that I can get, which is why, that's why I should have a target in. I got time for this getaway shit no more. When I was younger, cool, I don't care about seeing it. Walmart, Walmart's my story as game, but Target is peaceful. There's no lines. So that's what's up, check out. The self checkout line is literally down to here where i'm at and self checkouts all the way in the front of the store yeah nah so i'll see y'all fucking around with my damn grandma i forgot my planner that i picked up for my content creation which I, it's still baffling me how 
I picked up two planners and only went to the register with one. I really don't remember putting one back. So I'm highly confused and I'm not high. I haven't smoked in two days a day. Two days, yeah. So I don't know what's going on and I gotta go to the bathroom. What the fuck? Um, let me go get this planner and yeah. Forgetting that it's early. <laughs> so time is like slow, but I'm at Subway right now eating a chicken sandwich. It's a chicken salad. The Uber is like two minutes away, so I probably should pack this shit up if I can go home. Yeah, I'll see y'all when I get back to the house. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Tuesday. I'm currently at my first job, which is substitute teaching. I have been substitute teaching now for like, I wanna say a good week, about a week and a half now. Um, I love it by the way. Today I'm with fifth grade um, for the first time. Very interesting. Um, currently I'm on my lunch break, it's like 11 something. Um, I don't typically know when my lunch breaks are when I'm at this school because um, I don't, I don't know. They just assign me anywhere, really. I'm trying to cover up my face because my face is purging. I feel like I know why my face is purging, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it's been a pretty rough, hectic morning, but we're, we're doing better. Um, like I said, I'm on my lunch break. I'm chilling right now. I'm in the classroom by myself. I just door dashed me some food. I'm so tired of eating out. It's annoying because um, I didn't pack a lunch. And uh, I don't know. I do have school today, so I will be on campus very soon, um, which I'm kind of excited about. I just I just need more scenery, you know? Um, but yeah, y'all, so I'll check in with y'all later. I meant to show y'all what I got from Walmart yesterday, but I was so tired, it I couldn't. So when I get home later, I'm gonna show y'all. And ignore the pimple on my face because it's pissing me off. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's just scary for me. It's fucking raining and I'm trying to walk it in the rain. I can't wait till I get my car. I'm gonna keep saying it. I cannot wait until I get my car because this is ghetto as fuck. I hate being a bougie bitch walking in the fucking rain with this little ass umbrella that's not doing shit. Now I'm thankful for my jacket. My jacket is doing its thing. But this umbrella, not doing shit. Um, it's like after three o'clock, um, almost four, I'm about to go try to give me like a snack or something like some I really want some electrolytes in my system, so like a Gatorade, Powerade, something. Oh my God, the wind is blowing. Um, and like a snack or something. Um, my next class is from five to 6.15, but how my next class works is basically if we get our work done, we can go early. So the work that needs to be done for today's class, I'm gonna do now on top of whatever he assigns so that way I can leave early because my friend's coming over, which I'm kind of excited about because I don't have guests come over. Um, Y'all gonna finally meet Kendra if I decide to put her ass on the camera. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna be vibing and chilling. So I will talk to y'all when I get to my next location when it's dry and I can get my shit together because I need to go under this underpass immediately. And I didn't realize that the fucking rain basically picked up on the walk here. I'm like, bro, why the fuck is it raining so damn hard? The rain picked up. So I'll see y'all. Nah, cause these classes here was really the best to ever do it. free period right now. I just ordered Chinese food because I'm hungry. But um, high school is crazy. My high school has completely changed to the 360. I can't wait to tell y'all about it when I get in the house. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all. Bye. I'm literally in a massage chair in this faculty room by myself. I think I have a few minutes left, but I just ate my Chinese food. I'll insert a clip of it somewhere here on the screen or in the clip before this if there is one i don't know um easy day love it here 10 out of 10 we'll do it again i think I'll be, I'll be back here tomorrow i just have to leave like an hour and a half early which is annoying because i'm in school but last week of school is next week thank god it's really dragging if we're being quite honest um i don't know i really love substitute teaching I really, 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 really do. Um, this is my alma mater too, so this is perfect. Um, <clears throat> I'm in this massage chair. I got 12 minutes left, so I'm gonna enjoy my massage. I will see y'all 
I think I'll see y'all before I go home. If not, I don't. But I'm finna catch y'all. Hey y'all, good fucking morning. <laughs> today is um, what today is? It's Thursday. It's third. It's Thursday. Okay. As y'all see, you know, you got a little vibe for me. I was supposed to be on my job today. We're long story. Um, well, one of them. I was just tired as fuck. Like, I didn't get no sleep last night. Working, working two jobs is not for the week. Um, but luckily, my God got me. And we gonna make it through. I got some promo that needs to get done before I leave. Because once I leave and go to school, I'm not gonna have no time to do nothing else. Because I work right after school. So, ignore the pimple. I need my face to get it the fuck together. My birthday's next week. I'm not having this bullshit. Not having it. Um, I think I showed y'all my new sheets. I don't fucking know, girl. It's a lot going on that I need to tell y'all about and show y'all. So, let me get my life together. Look at the clips. And I'm gonna come back. Hey, y'all. I'm on my last class of the day. Well, I'm in the building of the last class that I have for the day. I just got my food. I was craving mozzarella sticks. And I got some chicken vinegar. She, you know the vibes. I love that girl, though. Um, I don't know. Today was a good class. I realized that in my sociology class, <clears throat> we have to do a project on um, basically our life, right? As a final. And I have a lot in common with a lot of people in my class. Like, somebody's parent died either I think it was their parent yeah their parent or grandparent died the same day that my great grandma died which is literally coming up next week three days before my 24th birthday it doesn't feel like my birthday's next week y'all I'm not even gonna lie now will I say compared to last year am I in a better headspace absolutely the grades is good we finna get off of academic probation um I've been doing all my homework, handing in assignments, whether they late or on time. I've been really on my shit to get off of academic probation so I can really set myself up for the new year because I'm not playing. I'm coming for a lot of shit. Y'all have been warned I'm coming for a lot of shit. So, yeah, that was interesting. Um, PetSmart. I love PetSmart really bad. And I love being a dog mom. Now my phone's dying. I love being a dog mom. Pastor sent me an email the other day saying, like, we could get free, like, um, scrapbooks of your fur baby. Pull out your favorite pictures and a scrapbook that you can design um, online. I think they mail it to you. Doing that because it's Dior, Dior's first, Dior, Dior's first ever Christmas. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then they are doing a thing where we can take a picture with Santa you and it's free we're definitely doing it <laughs> we're gonna go in our matching pajamas and we're gonna take our pictures so but yeah um that's pretty much it that i wanted to update y'all on for real for real um let me eat i might come back hey y'all hey, good morning it's friday i'm a substitute teacher in a special ed classroom but they switched me um I'm going to be monitoring lunch duty and then I have an honor history class for the rest of the day. So, let me see how that goes. Good morning. I'm running late. It's a lot going on. I'm going to give y'all a rundown later on and I'm going to see y'all later on. Hey y'all. So, it's a roughly almost one o'clock. Um, <clears throat> I'm in my last two periods of the day. Um, I'm subbing for honors history right now. Well, there's nobody in here, so I have a free period, but it's about to end, and I ordered Chick-fil-A, and I'm definitely going to go get my Chick-fil-A when it comes. Um, I'm kind of irked, though, because I hate... I, there, it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat, because I didn't really eat. I just bought chips. I'm tired of ordering out. Like In the new year, we're not doing that. I'm not ordering nothing out. Not even a little bit. I'm tired of spending money. But, um, yeah. I'm excited, because... They don't really have to do anything in the last club that class that I subbed for was study hall, so they didn't they did whatever they wanted to, which was not really much. That's on them. Um, so yeah. Um I can't wait to go home and tell y'all everything and stuff. 
it's been a pretty good week i really love my job i'm just really blessed and happy that i was able to make it happen right before my birthday which i need to get excited for so um, i'm currently looking at clothes on asos so i'm gonna start doing hauls and stuff so but yeah let me go hey y'all so um we're gonna wrap this vlog up right here but before we get into it um i just realized that when i'm filming i just whatever i need to talk about i need to just film right then and there because i'll be forgetting um going back to the first clip in the vlog um i hope you guys enjoyed that little montage in the beginning i felt like it was a vibe like i hate that it gets dark early fast don't get me wrong but it's just something about i don't know that montage was just fire i don't know i don't know i don't know let me know if you liked it um and i don't know if y'all noticed but i put tiktoks in my videos that i find funny throughout the week um I try to post the ones that obviously won't get my ass copyrighted because YouTube be on that shit. Um, but yeah, girl. So what ended up happening was when I went to my first official like a job, what happened was the school loved me so much, bro, that they literally like hired me, <laughs> hired me to specifically work at that school, but it's not official yet. So I just traveled to different schools to, you know, substitute teach, which I love. The kids love me and I always try to, you know, go back and show my faces, show my face even after I've had the class because I want them to remember me. I want to be the substitute teacher that you love, that you fall in love with, um, and that really just makes a difference. Like, I feel like the type of teacher that I am is the type of teacher that I wanted when I grew up um, or I, when I was coming up. And don't get me wrong, I've had that. I've had that, but I just feel like nowadays it's just more... It makes sense to be just real kind and you know these generation of kids is crazy like i have so many substitute story teacher times for y'all <laughs> we gonna have a whole story time on this child um so there's that went to walmart did a haul was not able to show y'all what i got so let me show you so first we got this um tv on the wall mountain kit um, I don't know if y'all remember me talking about this in one of my videos a long time ago, but if y'all don't know by now, neither brat is an extreme manifester. And what I mean by that, excuse me, what I mean by me being an extreme manifester, I like to either purchase, okay, let me, let me get, let me show y'all where I got this from. Well, I didn't get it from this, but when I heard this, it literally reminded me of myself. So I forget where I heard this. I can't remember if it was TikTok. I think it was a TikTok video basically explaining like the upcoming of Drake and how basically when Drake before, you know, he had money, money for real, for real, before he blew up, like he was literally borrowing cars, clothes, the money, like he was borrowing his image to manifest the image that he has now, which in theory from a, a standpoint like mine, you're probably looking at that man like you're crazy as fuck, like you're broke as hell you trying to live up to you're trying to obtain this image that you don't even have now this man is not only maintaining he has surpassed that image that he used to fake back in the day so i just thought that reminded me of myself because i noticed that like whenever i manifest now that i'm older um i i'm, I'm extreme like i have to buy something towards it or do something towards it to plant that seed that I'm going to get whatever it is that I want done. And this kit, me purchasing this, me purchasing this kit was to manifest me continuing the renovation of my room. So I know y'all probably like, nah, you haven't really talked about your room, remodel, what's going on? First of all, peep the new sheets, bitch. Peep the pink sheets, bitch. It's motherfucking giving. Period. I finally, finally found the perfect set of fucking sheets for, for my bed. Um, I just have to, you know, face the fact that I have a big ass bed and my sheets is going to start at $30 and I got, I can't be cheap. These were like 30 something dollars from Walmart. They're sweat resistant proof, waterproof, all that good stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I haven't sweated on these sheets yet. <laughs> so I'm going to link them down below in the description per, but I want to continue the renovation of my room. I kind of got discouraged because, you know, my bills was coming around and you know i was catching up on debt and just really just when i first started working and getting back into you know the nine to five you know thing like it just work 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 pay off your debt pay off your debt pay off your debt i hadn't really been able to treat myself and then like 
I got discouraged with my room remodel when I actuality I shouldn't have got discouraged for real for real because all this stuff that I really wanted is literally just for my desk y'all <laughs> just for my desk obviously like I still need like storage space but the stuff that I really wanted was mainly for my desk and I wasn't thinking big and now that I'm thinking big um we're, we're thinking bigger so I bought this kit because um the guy I, I wanted to just put me getting this done into fruition because when I tell y'all once this once my tv is up it's up I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all my tv broke over in the summertime I want to say <sighs> July y'all I swear to god I was literally watching law order svu criminal not criminal intent I was watching organized crime if you didn't watch if you if you didn't watch organized crime I don't know what the fuck you're doing that's when you um I was watching organized crime and it just went black and I had a little 32 inch when my desk, not my desk, my dresser was over here, child. We get in the big body 58 inch and I'm mounting that hoe. And the mount that I'm getting is a swivel mount. So it's not just going to be mounted in one place, especially like say I'm over here and I'm playing a game or something. Yes, I'm getting me a system. Um, <laughs> uh, I can, you know, swivel my TV to face this way or from over here. And my bed, well, my TV will be right here, so it's fine. You feel me? So I can't wait to see that because that's the next step. Excuse me, is purchasing my TV and my mount for the TV. And I'm also paying Walmart to have someone come to my crib to put this up. I'm not no man. I'm not nobody's man. I'm not being Bob the Builder in this bitch no more. Um, a man could come and do this and I will put the money aside to have a man do this because I'm not. Um, <laughs> that shit is dead. I also purchased this big ass, this big ass fucking, um, calendar. Now, I'm, I, I don't know. At first when I seen it, I didn't like it. I didn't like I don't know, like, I, it just didn't scream nigh. But also, I didn't get this calendar to, you know, for it to be cute or for decoration. It was, it's really to keep organized. So this is the calendar that I'll be using specifically for school assignments. Um, that way, your girl can stay on track. It's obviously not a lot written on here because when I just got it, two, we're in the middle of the month already. Um, and three, it school ends this week. So it's not much for me to put, for real, for real. Next semester, your girl is all remote. I will not be on Rollins campus next semester. I will literally be in the four walls of my room unless I leave. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm not going to say that there's not going to be any college vlogs next week, next week, next year or next term. I think we're just going to call them like weekly vlogs or days of my life as a college or as a remote college student. Let me know which y'all like better. We're going to see. But I'm actually really, really excited because me staying home will allow me to do a lot more with Brad's way um, and all my other business ventures that I got lined up for the new year. So I'm pretty excited about that. And last but not least, I got these two planners. I got this blue one. This blue one's gonna be for my bills because I, I hate not knowing when my bills are coming out on auto pay. And me using my phone, I find, is not helpful for me because I need to physically see it um, and keep track of it. So this is what, you know, we're going to use as an expense tracker in 2022. I don't know. I really try to be really old school with things like this only because it's just like me doing it digitally. Now I just hit myself, hit myself in the face. Me doing shit digitally, digitally nowadays, it's not, it's not fucking cutting it. Um, so... And then I got this one for content creation because I have, when I tell y'all, I have over 30 projects still. And that's also my fault, but it's okay because we're going to get organized. Sally Beauty, I have to show y'all what Sally Beauty sent me in the next video or in the next thing, period. I have a lot to tell y'all and talk about. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got from um, Walmart. Uh, Kiss sent me their Foscara collection which basically consists of um you know the individual strip lashes where we can basically make our own which I thought was cool because I low-key wanted to do that like I'm not saying I want to become a lash tech or nothing but I wouldn't mind you feel me look look at that look at how pretty I'm showing you the inside 
But yeah, I got so much stuff going on, y'all. Like, it's really crazy. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see. It's just a whole bunch of individual lashes and it has a kid at the bottom. Um, but yes, y'all. School is literally ending this week. I'm so freaking excited. Well, this week coming up. My birthday is approaching. Ooh, I gotta put a stick. Thank God that I can edit that out. Um, I gotta put, um, I just got a whole bunch of shit to do. I really, really do. So, with that being said, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for bearing with me. I'm really trying, y'all. Like, when I tell you I'm going through, like, a mental battle right now, but just know that the devil is not winning. God is, and I'm God's child, so that means I'm winning, too. Um, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Don't play with me like that. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I'm not saying that I'm not untouchable, but don't, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. I'm just laying. It's been all day in it. It's like, nah. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And yeah.